there we go. Hey there, Facebook. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, my name is Mick Shriver. I'm an Episcopal priest serving two parishes in a town called Ludington, Michigan. That would be Emmanuel Lutheran and Grace Episcopal. And every night at 9 o'clock, we gather online here and we just have a time that we share together. Um, we check in with each other, see how things are going. Um, we enjoy an adult beverage together or some nights just a coffee, I guess. Um, it's not only people from the parishes that I serve, but people across the state of Michigan, people across the country for that matter. Um, people that I know from back home in York, Pennsylvania, people from Florida, people who, uh, winter in warmer climates, uh, who are normally from Ludington, um, but are currently in Alabama or Florida. Or we got people from Arizona and Ohio and... New York, and, and it's awesome. Oh, and my computer's making all kinds of sounds. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, but anyway, if this is your first time with us tonight, it's awesome to have you with us tonight. We are going to be talking about what brings you joy, okay? And I have a very important update to bring you on our Texas Outreach Project, okay? So, why don't we start by just checking in, um, uh, with our days, see how things are going. Today was Wednesday, uh, March 10th, all day long. The wind is howling right now. Uh, we had a very little rain, um, but a front has moved through. It was it was kind of on the warmer side today, warmer for March 10th for, for a year, okay? Which means it got all, all the way up into the 50s today. And um, yeah, good day. No emergencies. That's a good day. <laughs> um, so the question for tonight, as we all begin to check in and um, all that, what is it that brings you joy? That if you know that if you're kind of in a down mood, what is something that you know that you can do that kind of brings you out of it a little bit? Okay. Um, one of the things that I do is, is there's some music, there's some songs that just are silly and kind of bring me out of it. Um, there are some movies that I watch like Airplane. <laughs> the sillier, the better. Um, but my, my, probably my number one, if I want to, if I want to feel joy about something. This is going to sound funny, and it's, I guess, confession time. I go online and I watch videos um, where people on um, either like America's Got Talent or uh, one of those type of shows where somebody gets on and you don't really expect that they're going to do as well as they do and they get up on stage and they just hit a home run. What's the what's the singing competition or what's the Simon Cow whatever whatever show that one is? I don't really watch the show, but I watch videos online. Um, and and anytime I see those type of, of videos where a little kid or you know a housewife uh, housewife uh, a stay at home mother of three from Poughkeepsie just hits a home run you know that that kind of video i really like those I really like those they, they bring me joy so that's my question to you guys tonight what do you know that you can do that can bring you joy okay so let's check in a while why don't we luann crottenden is here with colin no doubt down in hastings michigan hi guys it's great to have you with us tonight kathy ibeam and ben are at the ranch good windy evening indeed you probably have some uh, branches coming down at your place like we do here. Miss Jenny. Jenny is here from Howe. Hi, Miss Jenny. And Sheila Ray is here too. Hey, Sheila. Nice to have you with us tonight. Miss Judy is with us. Hi, Judy. Sharon Walton as well. Jack Conklin and Joyce Wintering down in Alabama. And Kelly Rivera from Houston. Hey there, Miss Kelly. We got Kristen Pomorski, which also means that Tim is right there with her. Hi, guys. It's great to see you. 
Mike Burns and Priscilla down in Alabama as well, wintering down there. We got Joella with us tonight. Hey, Joella. It's great to have you with us, darling. And Miss D, D Falk, D and D, uh, who are in, on St. George's Island in Florida, I believe that is. Um, great to have you guys with us too. Great that we can stay connected this way. I'm so glad. Steve Brocklebank and Heidi in Ohio. Hey guys, good to see you. And Kelly says, going a run through the park, being outside. That's what bring you, brings you joy, huh? You're one of those crazy people I see running all the time. My goodness. I haven't run since the army because nobody's made me, okay? <laughs> Actually, I do wish I could run again. I, I, was, I lettered in soccer. I was a runner at one time. But my knees just can't take it anymore. Sharon Walton says, what brings her joy is her grandkids. Now, come on now. I've met your grandkid. <laughs> I'll pay for that one later. Yes, Miss Sharon, I can see that. Absolutely. I can see your face light up whenever you see them and you hug them. And, uh... and Shelly Anderson is right here. Hey, good evening. Right back at you, Miss Shelly. And Kathy says, Ben says, calling you and harassing you. That's what truly brings my buddy Joy. <laughs> no doubt about that. Jenny says, hugging grandkids at last. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's a good thing, isn't it? Absolutely. I'm glad you're all vaccined up. I'm glad for that. Sheila Ray says, dance to Crazy Frog with the kiddos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Around, around our house, we tell bad dad jokes around the, the breakfast table. Um, it always makes me laugh. It, it makes my kids groan. <laughs> D. Fox says, going for a walk or remembering fun moments with our, with our I'm going to say grandsons there. Yeah, absolutely. And Luann says, hearing babies giggle. Absolutely. Just a, a belly giggle. Yeah. Yeah. All those things, they bring us joy. Well, I have something to report to you guys. There is a, a gentleman and his wife and his parents down in Texas who are very joyful tonight. Um, I was able to speak to Mike. For those of you who don't know, over the past week, uh, less than a week actually, just past couple of days, we have I've told you about um, my buddy, my army buddy, who is a Baptist minister down in, in Texas, um, who had some damage done to a trailer that his parents were living in on, on his land and uh, how we had taken up a collection for him. And he, he had become, you know, he fell behind on his mortgage. He used his mortgage payment to go ahead and pay for the repairs on the, to help pay for some of the repairs on the trailer. And well, our, our goal was $5,000. We received a $2,500 matching or challenging grant from somebody, uh, one of our own. And by the way, I only went to you guys. I did not go to um, the churches, although most everybody in here is associated with Emmanuel or Grace. Um, but there's a lot of people who aren't, um, a lot, as, as I went down the list here. And, well... You guys came through in a big way. We met our goal today. And I was able to get a hold of Mike and Diane and let them know that once the funds arrive um, at the church at Emmanuel uh, and Grace, and I can turn around and write a check and, and send it down to them. Um, he was overjoyed. He, uh, he says he's praying for you all and will be for a long time to come. He, uh, he is very, very thankful, and uh, I want to thank you guys. I really want to thank you guys. You done good. You stepped up. You, you, so many of you guys said it was a joy to give um, assistance to somebody that we knew where the money was going. We knew we had an association. We had a personal connection with somebody that Hey, we can have an effect on this one person's life, this one family's life. Better go, guys. Very, very good. That's being church right there. 
Miss Patsy. Thank you for being in the room here. I ran into Miss Patsy tonight, as a matter of fact, um, picking up a couple of things from Walmart and uh, talked to her just a little bit in the uh, in the aisle as we passed by each other and uh, talked about this outreach that we had going to Texas. And um, well, thank you, Miss Patsy, for what you shared with me. <laughs> Let's see, we have a couple more people. Let's see, Nancy Stever. Nancy, good evening, Father Mick. We sure are losing our snow, and that is great. Spring is coming. Absolutely, Miss Nancy, absolutely. Barbara Brocklebank, she's down in Florida right now. Good evening, and, and in hopes of seeing family soon. Oh, that's awesome. That's fantastic, Miss Barbara. Um, Guys, it's it's so good to to announce that news to you, and well, it's a whole lot of joy right there. All right, for the first time in a long time, Mike said he's gonna probably get a good night's sleep tonight. So, thank you guys. For those of you who would like to follow along in the scripture tonight, we are going to be looking at Psalm number eighty-four, and um, hmm. If you don't have your scripture with you, don't worry about it. You know I'm going to read it right now to you anyway. I actually had to put a note right in front of me here on the on the stand that says, Stop saying um or like. I don't like watching my own videos, okay? Sometimes I have to while I'm editing something or downloading it to go to YouTube or something like that. And right there, there's my note. Stop saying um or like. Because I do it way too much. Chris Simpler and Jenna just came in with us. Thank you for prayers and well wishes here too. Ruby's eye has healed and stitches are out. Hey, awesome for Miss Ruby. That's fantastic, man. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Psalm 84. Wishing to be in the temple. Lord All-Powerful. How lovely is your temple. I want more than anything to be in the courtyards of the Lord's temple. My whole being wants to be with the living God. The sparrows have found a home and the swallows have nests. They raise their young near their, near your altars. Lord all-powerful, my King and my God. Happy are the people who live in your temple. They are always praising you. Happy are those whose strength comes from you who want to travel to Jerusalem. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it like a spring. The autumn rains fill it with pools of water. The people get stronger as they go, and everyone meets with God in Jerusalem. Lord God all-powerful, hear my prayer. God of Jacob, listen to me. God, look at your our shield. Be kind to your appointed king. One day in the courtyards of your temple is better than a thousand days anywhere else. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the temple of my God than live in the homes of the wicked. The Lord God is like a sun and shield. The Lord gives us kindness and honor. He does not hold back anything good from those who live, whose lives are innocent. Lord all-powerful, happy are the people who trust you. And the devotion tonight is entitled Singing for Joy. The devotion writer writes, I'm always singing to myself. Sometimes I, I sing along to a song I hear in the background. Sometimes it's something stuck in my head. Now and then I hum melodies without even knowing where they, they come from. Occasionally, while I'm on a walk or a drive singing away, I look up and, for just a second, it seems everything around me is, is in sync with me and my music, as though every living thing is moving to the same beat, inhaling and exhaling as one. For me, this epitomizes joy. My whole body, my whole being, turned, tuned into the frequency of love, the frequency of God doesn't happen often, but when it does, my heart is whole, and I remember why I sing day in and day out. 
It's my way of searching for and reaching out for the joy of union with God and all creation that Jesus prayed his disciples would experience. This gift is God's to give. I don't create or achieve it. But when I sing, I open my heart and soul to it. And I know joy. And the prayer that goes with the devotion, unifying God, thank you for the joy of glimpsing your design for a world connected. Amen. And the prayer concern for tonight is for those in need of joy. Closing. Tonight, we turn our attention on the prayer list to the Wednesday section, and that starts uh, with Miss Barbara. Miss um, Barbara, you have introduced us to Dr. Yardumian, who is um, an emergency room physician here in Michigan, uh, in Gross Point, Madison Heights. The reason I say it like that is because Miss Barbara and John are down in Florida. Um, so we've been praying for him and his staff through this entire, uh, for this entire year. Also, he, uh, he and his wife welcomed their firstborn child this past year, too. So, God bless him, and uh, we join you in praying for him. Okay, Miss Barbara? Miss D, we join you in praying for Dave and Greg, for Miss Doris, as well as your kids, too. And I think, let me see, Sharon. Um, I'm going to say your brother, Larry, although you gave me an update on that not too long ago. I'll have to go back and look at that note. And we'll hold there and pick up Thursday tomorrow, which would be appropriate, wouldn't it? <laughs> I swear it's only coffee. It, it, nothing else. It's just straight up coffee. <laughs> the last thing that we do each night together is we turn our attention to the last office from the Episcopal tradition. Uh, it is called Compline, and it begins with the invitatory or the opening prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. And the lesson tonight is taken from 1 Peter. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary the devil prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith. And now in the words our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen visit this place O lord and drive far from it all the snares of the enemy let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace and let your blessing be upon us always through jesus christ our lord amen Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And the canticle tonight is from the Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is waking, O Lord, and guard is sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now for you who will be joining us first thing in the morning, um, a morning prayer for you guys, okay? Your sun rises again, O Lord, embracing the earth and seeking out every corner of our hearts. Warm us with the radiance of your presence. Scatter fear and sadness, that we may live your love this day. We pray in Christ's holy name. Amen. And now may the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now 
and always. Amen and amen. Hey guys, that's going to do it for our time tonight. I went way over last night, and so I thought I'd try to be a little quicker tonight. Um, I thank you for hanging in with me. I uh, appreciate you being here very much. And from your new Texas friends, um, a big old Texas thank you from a big old Texas heart. Um, guys, have um. I just said um like a big long <laughs> I hope you have a very restful night. I hope your tomorrow is even better than your today. Be well. Be safe. Love each other. Love God with all your heart. And as my pop says, good Lord willing, a crick don't rise. I'll see you right here tomorrow night. Until then. Good night, Facebook. <laughs>